downloaded over 750,000 times, translated into more than 50 languages, over 150 component-specific extensions in the Joomla Extensions directory, awarded Best Component at the International Joomla Conference in 2010, supported by most Joomla template providers, and totally free to use. Of course, I'm referring to K2, the powerful component I'll be covering in this course. Many people refer to K2 as a CCK, a content construction kit. However, Fotos Evangelo of Joomla Works, the developer of K2, prefers to call K2 a powerful content extension with CCK capabilities. If you've worked with Joomla before, you're aware that the standard article system allows you to enter title and the content for each article. The K2 component replaces the default Joomla article system, allowing you to set up additional fields for images, image galleries, videos, audio files, and attachments. Images you upload are automatically resized to several predefined sizes. K2 also provides a drag and drop media manager, blogging, comments, tagging, content modules, front end editing, templating and sub templating, and much more. K2 even has its own e commerce add on. K2 can be used on any size site from a basic blog to a large business site. The K2 component was built with these four principles in mind feature rich content, ease of use, flexible templating, and performance. In this course, I'm going to convert an existing Joomla site I developed, ChristianCowgirl.net, to K2. I've made a backup of the site using Akiba Backup so I can work on a copy of the site rather than the live version. The site contains several different types of content, making it a natural for use with K2. The devotion section will be set up like a blog. There are also book reviews, information about horse camps, people, and articles. Each will receive their own type of formatting in K2. All the techniques in the course will work the same way as if I were developing a new site, but using an existing site will provide some ready-made content to work with. The extension I use for formatting much of the content on this site is called Raxo. It's a nice module that allows you to quickly and easily format content in different ways. However, it doesn't provide comments, ratings, tagging, additional fields, or most of the other features K2 provides. So I had to install several different components to get those capabilities. In the next session, we'll get started by installing and configuring the K2 component.